So let's hear it. Whoa, fell off my chair. <laughs> So for today's video, we have something very, very exciting. I have a piece of gear to show you. It's been a little while. I teamed up with the wonderful people at Guitar World and we're going to be taking a closer look at this. This is the New X Mighty Air. I'm going to check you through some features, some specs. We're going to take a closer look at the wireless system that it comes with. But before we do any of that, let's hear how it sounds. Uh, this is a very rough and ready backing track that I wrote prior to filming this video and this is me improvising over it. All guitars that you are hearing are recorded using this. impressions what do we think I personally really like it and I think that this is just one of those things um, where it goes to show that big things come in small packages and although it might be really small it is definitely mighty and I can see why it's earned its name <laughs> so to sum it up the new X mighty air is a stereo modeling guitar and bass amplifier with the ability to connect to your phone so that you can adjust all of your settings through an app. On the Nuex website it says that this app is ideal for bedroom practice, for warming up before shows and also for travel entertainment. Equipped with a unique speaker system, dual 2 inch custom speakers with a passive bass radiator, the Mighty Air can work perfectly with both electric guitar and bass. Cool thing about this amp is that it comes with its own wireless system, uh, so you can have the choice between using it both cabled and wireless. Supposedly, with just one charge, you can get up to 18 hours of playtime out of the Mighty Air, which is quite a lot of time, so absolutely perfect for if you're going away or if you need to go long periods of time without power but you still want a guitar amp. This is your guy. <laughs> On top of the amp we have the input, channel selector, um, the Bluetooth indicator, I guess, C connector light, the drum dial, the drum style button, the tap delay button, obviously the on and off switch, uh, the receiver button, and then you've got gain, volume, tone and delay and reverb dials, and then another really cool thing about this is that it has an auxiliary in and a headphone jack. When I initially unboxed this amp, I was like mega surprised at the lack of cables, and that's because it comes with one. Um, and it's got this little USB input output on the back and essentially you use that to charge the amp and to record with the amp. I think we should just plug it straight in, not bother using the app and just see how the amp sounds like on its own with these dials without me kind of messing around or pressing anything.
So that's what the app sounds like when we haven't got the app involved, but let's take a closer look at the actual app itself. First of all, let's take a look at the actual amps themselves. So like any kind of modeling amps, you would hope that they have quite a few different amps to offer you so that you have a lot of options, and this is definitely the case here. So we've got Jazz Clean, Deluxe Reverb, Twin Reverb, Class A30, Brit 800, 1987 by 50, the Fireman HBE, Dual Rectifier, DVH4, D, I'm guessing that's Diesel, I'm not too sure, AGL, Starlift, MLD, and Stageman. You also have the option for a noise gate, which is really, really cool, especially when you're working with those high gain tones. In the effects department, you have quite a few different options as well. So we've got a Touchwar, U-Vibe, Tremolo, Phase 100, ST Singer, a Tube Screamer, a Katana, 3-band EQ, Muff Fuzz, Crunch Box, Red Dirt, Morning Drive, Dist One, and a Rose Comp. So you can also choose your own IRs and you've got a lot a lot of different IRs to choose from here. Anyway, then we've got our mod kind of settings. So you have uh, a couple of options here. So you've got a Phase 100, a CE1, SC Chorus, SCF, U-Vibe, and Tremolo. Um, and then taking a look at our delays. So you've got four different delays to choose from. You've got Analog, Digital, Mod Delay, and Ping Pong. And then lastly, taking a look at our reverbs, you've got Room, Hall, Plate, and Spring. So there are a lot of different options here uh, for you to choose from to make multiple tones, you know. So something really cool about this app is that you can actually share the tones that you came up with. So I'm going to do that with you now. So for my little experimental song that I played you guys earlier on, um, this was the lead tone that I was using. This was the clean tone that I was using. And this was the rhythm tone that I was using. This is where it gets a little bit exciting. Um, and this is where I started personally having a lot of fun when I was exploring. You have a drum option. So this drum option allows you to choose a metronome, pop, metal, blues, swing, rock, ballad rock, funk, R&B, Latin, and dance. Because this amp has an inbuilt drum machine. <laughs> want to take a look at in a bit more detail is the wireless system that it comes with. All right, we're leaving. <laughs> Can't open the door with one hand, man. That's not a cat. Okay, first test. I'm in the bedroom right now. I can hear it. See if it works if we go downstairs. Passes the test. Let's go a little bit further and go into the kitchen. Still working. So the wireless worked. We didn't experience any dropouts, which is really cool. It's the worst thing. Wireless is a very uh, temperamental thing. I've had a few wireless systems in the past and when they go wrong, they go really wrong. Um, so it's very reassuring to know that it could uh, go to different kind of areas of my house and I didn't experience any dropouts whatsoever. That's super reassuring. So my overall thoughts on the new X Mighty Air, I'm thoroughly impressed. Now these retail between 140 and 150 pounds about, which is really not much. I was genuinely like, I was expecting them to be like 300, but they're 140, 150 which is insane. I really wasn't expecting that. You definitely get a lot um, out of this. This is this is a pretty cool piece of kit to have for that much money. I have to say my absolute favorite features of it um, is how simple it is to plug in and record direct into Logic, which is what I use. Um, it was so easy to set up. Like I get very worried about setting those things up and I worry it's gonna take a lot of time. It was ready within five minutes. So very, very impressed with that. And also the quality of it. Um, it, it wasn't, it wasn't like there was no clipping. 
it wasn't grainy, it was a very clear signal and overall I was just like super surprised and mega impressed by it. So if you're at the end of this video now and you're wanting a new X Mighty Air, no worries, I've got you covered. Follow the links in my description and it'll take you right to it. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Guitar World and to New X, of course, for making this video possible. This is a genuine piece of kit that I am definitely going to use again, so super grateful that I had the opportunity to try it and to make this video for you guys. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit like, subscribe and drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Do you want me to do some more gear demo review type videos? Do you enjoy this style of video? Um, I would love to know what you guys think. If you'd like to support me further and check out some extra content from me, you can head on over and take a look at my Patreon. I release a lot of guitar lessons over there, behind the scenes videos, lit tutorials, vlogs. You get to see my YouTube videos before anybody else does and just lots more interesting stuff there that you won't see anywhere else. Anyway, that is all for today, my lovelies. I will catch you in the next one. See you later.